All right, so I want to show you another use for a boppy. Um, as you can see, he is kind of propped up in one. His head is up on the inside of the U, and his body is in the open spot. Oh, and we just spit up. Welcome to every day here. Um, anyway, so by propping them this way, he's a little bit elevated. Um, but what it, sorry, I'm wiping the spit up, up still. So, but what it also does is, if you can notice, his arms are a little bit more forward, which helps him with bringing his arm, hands together in midline, um, reaching a little bit more purposefully. Oh, and we have a nail that is on there. Um, so it's kind of taking away some of the challenges of gravity with lifting the arms up and being a little bit more coordinated with it. So you could dangle something in front um, to work on reaching and paying attention to midline and, and we're tired again every time, you know, basically our schedule is eat, sleep, change diapers. Um, and so we just ate, as you saw by the spit up, and now we're ready to sleep. But um, yeah, so I have been using this a little bit to help with his hands and midline. I've also put a stuffy there that sometimes he will hug. Um, which, of course, we're not going to do anything right now. He's also figured out ways to get his hands and his mouth a little bit easier from this position. So again, just want to give you some ideas and tricks that you can use at this age. And again, he will be six weeks tomorrow, so we're one day shy um, of six weeks. And starting to need to work on reaching, visualizing, all those things. So... Anyway, another use for a boppy. I know we have talked about using the boppy for tummy time, but I don't know that it often gets talked about using it for this position and giving help with the arms and we're sinking down right now um, for reaching. Anyway, I know I just rambled and that is because I am tired. So hopefully that gave you an idea.